Hello, everyone, and good day, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Bettina Carey, the founder of WeEmpowerYourLife.com, the website, and We Empower You, the community and global movement, where we are empowering you with all kinds of opportunities and marketing tips and tricks and enlivening everyone around the globe. I'm here today with none other than Lee Romanoff, the founder of Income Activator, which is at the key, it's a cornerstone to the We Empower You community. I'd like to get uh, Lee to come on the stage now and tell us a little bit about what you're gonna be talking about and just take it away. Go ahead and, un and tell us a little bit about what you're gonna be talking about and just take it away. Go ahead and unmute. Thank you, Bettina, that's terrific. Okay, well, I'm gonna start by sharing my screen. Okay, well, I'm gonna start by sharing my screen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today, which is a little bit different than usual, I'm gonna to talk to you about my evolution of the internet on making money online. And by what I'm saying and explaining may trigger you guys to think of your own evolution and how it can work. Now, when I started, I was about like this guy and, and I'm sort of more like this, but better dressed, okay? So when I started, and this was in 1994, I found that I found the, who had the lowest car insurance rates. And I thought, geez, you know, I saved $300, the world should know about that. So I went to the insurance industry and I said, give me your rates and I will send you back leads. And they said, great. Well, that's actually the business model of all the multi-million dollar and billion dollar companies, the high tech and the social media companies. That's their business model. Give me your content and we'll send leads to businesses that pay. Think about um, Facebook, for instance. They, you give them your content and they send leads to businesses that pay them. YouTube, you give them your, you give them your videos and they send leads to businesses that pay you. Sometimes they cut you in on that revenue. Um, perfect example, Google, have you ever noticed their homepage is nothing more than a, a search bar? And you enter in what you're looking for and they present companies. And when you click on the first few companies, it's a lead going to a company that pays Google a fee. So I figured this out accidentally in 94, where I just invited uh, the insurance industry, to give me their rates, and I sent leads back to them. Now, um, I didn't send, I wasn't in, I didn't think affiliate marketing was good and I still have a big problem with it because I never wanted to depend on somebody else's ability to close um, to de determine my revenue stream. So I made a, an arrangement with the insurance broker that I would send them $5 leads and they would pay me. So I made an arrangement with one broker um, and I didn't even know uh, the broker. I just called up my friend and I said, Rick, do you know anybody that will pay me for $5 a lead? And he said, yeah, call my friend Tom. And I called Tom and he said, yeah, let's do that. So I sent myself the first 20 leads because they were really important to make sure that they closed. And then I had nothing to do what, but promote my website saying, come to the website, um, find out who has the lowest car insurance rates. And because all I had to do was promote, I was I built the company up to about $50,000 a year by just promoting on $5 leads. My highest month was 113,000. So I thought this is really, really good. And then I sold the business, but I realized that I had to keep promoting to keep my revenue stream going up where the company I was sending the leads to, Tom, and it was Hub Insurance, they went public because not only were they getting uh, 
closing a higher volume of business because when you're trying to sell something online, 1% 1% converts, but if you actually get a recommendation, you can convert up to 40% of your business into sales. So they were converting like crazy, but the key behind them is that they were actually making a whole pile of money year in and year out from the renewals. But I, even though I was making a stack load of money, I still always had to maintain the promotion. So I thought, okay, so my next business, I'm gonna be doing the leads. I'm gonna do leads for myself and create an annual income from it. So I evolved into creating the Income Activator website platform where I'm sending myself leads and then converting the the business, but also converting it to an, a monthly and annual income. And so that so that's what keeps me going, you know, month out, year out. It's just the the business that renews monthly or annually. And so I, I've nailed it. And what I also did was I added to the business package a spotlight TV show, because that also helped increase the retention. So if somebody had their website with me and a spotlight TV show or a series, they would keep their business month to month or year to year. And then I ran into Bettina and Bettina said, well, that's good, Lee, but let's, let's up the ante and let's go and add the website, the TV show. Let's include a sponsorship package where we can, we've got about 400 sponsors that um, will sponsor your, your business anywhere from 10,000 to $100,000 uh, a year if they align with your message. Let's add some media contacts. We've got like 800 radio stations talk radio stations with audiences between 50,000 to 100,000 where you can promote your business, you just pitch them. And it's really, really good to practice your pitching to radio stations because I would consider radio stations as my marketing test. If I'm pitching and they're not, and they're not swinging, then my pitch is wrong. So it's a really good strategy and you can go through a lot of pitches before you land on something that's really good but when you do then the sky's the limit because it's so much better to talk to 50 to 100,000 people in an hour than it is to do these zoom meetings which are time consuming and you don't have the audience and then Bettina also included this as a membership package where she said well every week I'm going to be connecting with people and I'm gonna be answering their questions, helping them along. And the package will be $15.99 and I'll split the revenue with everybody that uh, who sells it 50-50, which is perfect. So that if you have a hundred people getting into this annual membership platform, a hundred people is $80,000 a year. So that's, a, so that's the evolution that I experienced. And now through um, my working with you guys um, for as long as I have, just over a year, I I, I've hit another evolution. And let me just show you. So I created this website example. And this website example, I just did monkey see monkey do, which has nothing to do with a product at all. I made up the title the other day, okay? And, and I said, enjoy the luxury of a simple life. And what I'm doing is I'm embedding um, online income without really having to sell anything. And I have the opportunity to either promote the luxury of a simple life to a radio station, but if I'm not into promoting, because a lot of people are really not comfortable 
pitching radio stations or going live on media, I'm also going to show you another strategy to get your network of people you know and other businesses that you are enjoying to help you promote while promoting them, while creating an income, while creating an annual income. So let me give you an example. If somebody goes to this website and it says, okay, enjoy the luxury of of a simple life, create your own online income, ask yourself, are you smarter than a monkey? So get out of your cage and swing into creating your own online income. So they would enter their name and email, and then they would go to this page. And what I do is I send myself again with through this website, a lead. Okay, so here I'm sending here, what I'm saying to people is, okay, the best online strategy is to copy what works. Now, if you are you comfortable with, if you want to watch videos and watch fun, inspirational and entertaining videos on YouTube and email them out to people to enjoy that, you could probably create some income from that. So if you're already watching fun, inspirational, entertaining YouTube videos, and you email them out to your friends and family, think about incorporating that into your business. Now let's go to the second step. What if you had a resource directory where you could send business to your friends and get paid for it? So that might be appealing to people. And then, while you're doing this, what if you end up creating an annual income from sending emails out to people that have fun and inspirational and entertaining videos? And at the same time, as you're doing this, you can help others to see what you're doing. And all you're doing is sending out emails of fun, inspirational videos. Now, for instance, right here, if somebody wants to start and get a website, well, here, I've just sent myself a lead, but I've incorporated stages of things that will make me more and more money. Like, for instance, someone can get a website platform at $60. Now, anybody that promotes the Income Activator platform I split the revenue 50-50 with you, which means 100 people is $3,000 a month for you. Then I've got a higher level where I include the TV show Spotlight. Then I get a higher level, which includes a sponsorship package. And then I've wrapped everything into the We Empower You membership. So it's even even better. And you will notice that uh, my design and mentoring, uh, I sell it for 6,500, where you guys can buy it for 2,500 through Patina. So it's a great savings through the Way Empower You membership. So anyway, so this is a lead model that I'm sending my to myself, and then making annual income by incorporating what people need which is a website, TV show, sponsorship package. Now, I'm putting together a resource directory. Now, this is the key. When I'm finding people, um, coaches, specialists, nutritionalists, what I'm doing is I'm saying to them, look at, let's come together and I'm gonna do your marketing for you. I'm gonna make sure that your email list gets out every week to your email list, to your group, and there's gonna be an inspirational video every week so that what happens is that your business will remain top of mind because everybody I know has a tough time marketing to their email list. It's it's really cumbersome, but so what I'm 
inviting people to do is say, okay, if you have an email list and want to be part of my directory, join me. And you guys can do the same. So let's say that this person, in regard to sole purpose, wants to join up. I can feature her. And I could, if I wanted to, charge her $100 to create this page and then give her the first 10 leads for free, which is pretty cool. That way she's not really paying any money because she's getting the first 10 leads for free. And then let's just say I put somebody comes in, uh, let's call them Paul, completes the form. It goes to her website. She gets an email saying, I'm going to contact you. The person, Paul, that just completed the form gets an email saying, hey, contact Brianne. And you, as a website owner, gets an email saying, you just made $10 from this lead, which is great. So in your Income Activator website platform, and I'm just going to log in here in regard to referrals, all leads are tracked. And if you look at you can see that Paul was just tracked and the invoice was automatically created. So all that I would do is at the end of the month, I would, the system tallies up your leads and all you just do is you copy the invoice, you send it to them. When they join you as, a direct, as part of your directory, you have their credit card, you process the leads. It's very, very simple. So. Anyway, so anyway, let's say that I have one, two, three, four, five people right now, and they all have an email list of a thousand people. So I know that they've agreed that they will join me in regard to sending out um, an email once a week to um, their list. And everybody's email list promotes everybody else. So let me just go into my video index here. So this week, I created this email and I gave the URL to everybody in the directory. And I said, okay, here, we're gonna promote we're going to promote our email lists so everybody benefits because this person might have somebody in their email list that wants to connect with somebody in the meditation group. And the meditation person may have somebody in their email list that wants to find out more about nutrition. So everybody is really sharing the power of their email list. And you as a, as a website owner are doing their weekly marketing for them. And everybody's benefiting from everybody else's list. At the same time, your business is continues to be top of mind because you're going to get an email to this interesting video. This video has over two million or over a million views already because it's it's a really cute, interesting video. Now, because we all know that there's three types of videos. I mean, three types of emails that you get. You get uh, join the Zoom meeting, which you guys tend to ignore. You get buy my junk, which you tend to delete. And then you get an email saying, check out this interesting video. It'll make you laugh or inspire you. And you click to listen to the video. So this is what all the big money companies do in regard to this send out just, hey, check this out you'll be interested in it. So next week, this video goes out. And all, all I do is say, hey, here's, here's the email, or here's the, the URL, here's the link, send it out to your list. So every Wednesday, everybody gets, everybody goes to their list and sends out this. And this is a fascinating uh, video. 
So the following week, this video, and two weeks ago, I played the cat video, the cat advertising, really cute video. But then people are, as they're watching, are seeing your directory, clicking on things, and then say, oh yeah, I, could, I wanna get a free consultation from a coach. Completes the referral form and you earn $10 per lead. And as you get more people in your directory, let's say you have 10 people in your directory, that's 10,000 people a week that get sent interesting videos to your website and they've got your directory and they may want to say, oh yeah, I'm into love. <laughs> Let's see what this has to do with about it, has anything to do with anything. And if they want to contact the person for a free um, consultation, they can do so. So let me show you how easy it is to create these pages because I'll create one just in front of you right now. Okay, if I go into the Income Activator website platform and I go into my video index, I'm going to uh, the Creative Genius. This is the one you just saw here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this, make a copy, click over to it, and then I'm going to go to YouTube. And here it's called the crazy ones. This is a great video. I'm just gonna click share, embed, copy the code. Come on, let's go. Where did the uh, editor go to? Okay, copy the code. All I'm gonna do is right here, delete the video by just a backspace, click on the YouTube, enter the code, the video's there. I'm just gonna change the title saying go crazy. I'm gonna go back up to, here are the crazy ones, copy this. Where did it go? I'm gonna clean the text because if you don't clean the text, you um, bad things happen. <laughs> the formatting goes weird. Here's to the crazy ones. And I would probably change this text to something. Okay. So now, I have my next video, my next video to send out to everybody in my directory and say, hey, this is such a great, great video. And I'll just play it right now. Here's to the crazy ones, the rebels, the troublemakers, the ones who see things differently. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. So I think everybody on this call is pretty crazy. So that's how easy it is. So I just, all I need to do is I just need to get more people in my directory that have the same inspiration saying, yeah, Lee, promote my business once a week with these fascinating videos. And if anybody comes and completes the form, I'm happy to pay you $10 for the lead. No problem. You keep doing this. You do. Um, Pinterest, it's the same formula as Pinterest. Pinterest does it. They send three emails a day um, saying, hey, check out this. You may find it interesting. You may find these fit pictures interesting. Three emails a day, $1 billion in revenue last year. I mean, this is the strategy used by big money companies. This is a strategy that you can use through your network of people that you would recommend anyway. And you never have to talk to the media if you don't want to. All you do is find fascinating videos online. And this video 
what it has over a half a million views. So you know that people that see this video will say, hey, you know, I'm just going to send it out to my friend. I, I love it, you know. And when they send it out, about 30% of your visitor traffic is from other people saying, check out this video because it's fun, entertaining, or inspirational. If you hold to that, you're good to go. And then people go around and they say, you know what? Let me click on this. Oh, isn't this interesting? I want what Lee wants. I'm going to get her website, her TV show, her sponsorship package, her media list, and the membership. Add to cart, $15.99. Done. And that person will be an annual subscriber. So that's the way it works. I'm just going to unmask myself and stop the share. And I'm back. Does anybody have any questions? That's perfect. That was the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, thank you so much. Today's uh, session was really invaluable. And it's yet one more summary of what we're doing here, creating an online income opportunity for everyone who's watching, listening, and a part of this membership of We Empower You, the community. And it is a global community. So this opportunity is available to anyone around the world. It's it's something that can be duplicated. It's a, especially attractive and appealing to authors, coaches, consultants, advisors, um, cheerleaders, and mentors, and those who are entrepreneurs who have that inspiration to be entrepreneurs, or maybe you've already been an entrepreneur for many years like I have. And I've never seen anything like this uh, working in the manner in which we have made it. So thank you to Lee for seeing a vision that I had for many years and being able to execute given that our paths were so perfectly aligned and dovetailed so nicely. Yeah. Wonderful so, presentation. Yeah. So that's, you know, everybody has this, can do it, set it up pretty easily in their income activator website platform. Um, and they can incorporate their products and services and they can get to create a directory from you know, their own network. And as long as you do email marketing once a week and, you know, with an inspirational video, you got it made. You'll just start building and building. You really know what to do about generating income from an online perspective. And together we've teamed up to make this really magical for folks. Uh, you've helped many folks actually with their websites. In fact, more than half of the folks that, that sign up for our We Empower You community end up having me do their website, including myself. So thank you so much for uh, offering your services there. And uh, anything else, Lee? Yeah. Again, I just... uh, open up your mics, folks, if you have a question or two. We'd love to have uh, some interaction here. My only point is that never have someone that has never made money online create your website for you. Because that's because you never will when they make money online. <laughs> they'll, they'll have, they'll make something pretty that you should hang on the wall, but I would go to an artist for that. You really need to understand the strategy of controlling your traffic and sending them to your revenue stream while providing them with the information that they're looking for. Okay. All right, thank you so much, Lee. It's been great now, to have you as always. Now, what I will do also is I'm going to put this website in the chat so that people can um, check it out and absorb a little bit more of it at their leisure. It looks like Anne has opened up her mic. Did you have a question, Anne? Well, I already have two websites. How do I just generate more traffic to them? How do you generate more traffic to them? Is that your question? Yes. Well, I mean, that email marketing is probably the best way of doing it. Uh, getting, you know, other people to help promote, to keep them up, you know, and, and just grabbing really good videos from YouTube. Consider YouTube like your video department. It creates the videos. It tells you which ones are viral. It'll give you the categories you're interested in. 
when you're searching and then just say, hey, why do I need a, why? I, there's no way I could create a better video company than YouTube. And I'm gonna, and everything I get from them is free. So I'm just gonna use their videos that support my industry or topic and send them out to my email list on a regular basis to keep me top of mind. And I know that they are not gonna cl click on my email that says buy my junk, but they will click on my email that says, hey, check out this funny video, you'll enjoy it. Okay. You know what I mean? If you get somebody to laugh or inspire them, they will look forward to your emails as opposed to unsubscribing from your emails. Yes. And, you know, Anne, I also had a website when I first came across Lee. And what we've done is incorporate those, e those uh, email, those websites into uh, the Income Activator platform, because the, what goes on behind the scenes on the Income Activator platform is beyond what we've covered here today. There are 10 revenue genera generating um, opportunities within the website. So you may still want to talk with Lee and myself about using the Income Activator platform to, uh, to drive traffic in this manner. Because what we're teaching is a copycat kind of, you know, what, what I learn and what she does, we bring it to you and then you can just do it. You don't have to invent it yourself. Yeah, essentially you can embed your websites within one main website. And that way you've got one place that you're sending people. I mean, that's... That's an easy way of doing it. Well, you, yeah. would that cause me extra fees, though? I mean, I already pay for the two websites that I have. Would it be yeah. another cost? Well, maybe, maybe you can just email me your websites and I can take a look at it. Okay. Because um, I'm not sure what your costs are. Um, and maybe some consolidation may be effective for you. Depending well, on how much money you're making per website and what you're doing. Yeah, and just to give you kind of uh, explore that opportunity, I invested the $2,500 with Lee to do my website. And eight weeks later, I generated $25,000 in revenue. So it's perhaps safe to say that the site that I had that I held so dearly, and it still exists, was not making me anywhere close to that, even on an annual basis. So it was, it was definitely a good move for me to invest in a website that actually works. Now, right here, if you see Bettina Carey Productions is a site that is in, built into my Income Activator site that actually is living on WordPress. So I pay an annual fee to uh, WordPress, which is about $100 a year. Um, to host this there. I haven't had time to move it over officially into the We Are You community and the Income Activator. And I may never do that because um, I'm really focused on the, the membership. So I was able to, you know, kind of deal with the fact that I was married to a website that I'd already worked on and parked it here. And I promote only this site. Anyone who wants to see Bettina Care Productions, I don't share with them. To go to bettinacarry.com, I share, go to weempoweryourlife.com, scroll to the bottom, click on Bettina Carey Productions, and you'll be there so that they can see the more comprehensive work that I'm actually doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's really, it's good that way. Yeah. Well, my two websites are completely two different yeah. subject matters. Yeah. One, I always... <laughs> one is my art and the other one is about the book that I hope to have coming out this Christmas mm -hmm. um, like to you nap I wrote a book well it's not finished yet it's still with the uh, layout design right now I'm working with the editor and the layout design I'm getting closer let's put it that way and I'm hoping to have it in print by Christmas good that'd be nice yeah okay try findingyourhope.com it's just a one-page simple website I'm hoping to get pre-orders and that's what I laid out. I may have to add more content to it. And well, my, maybe maybe a nice way of doing it then, and we can have this conversation offline. Just give me a call, 949-545-4211. I always do this just for fun and giggles. Um, <laughs> repeat that. 949-545-545-4211. So Four two one one. 
Okay. And you may just want to, instead of whatever one page website you're hosting on right now, we can just change it to the Income Activator website platform. But that one's free with GoDaddy. And then yeah. I have my other one through GoDaddy, but Squarespace, somehow both. Um, it's a Squarespace website using a template, but I still think I'm hosting with GoDaddy. I'm not positive about that. Well, we'll figure out what your, your costs are and consolidate them. Because okay. Income Activator comes with an online store. It comes with the lead tracking. It comes with unlimited pages. So it comes with everything. You don't have to buy up. The main thing that I would say, and Lee would agree with me on this, is that most websites are just a fancy brochure and they never result in an income revenue generating uh, source. And so that's what you really have to weigh is if your intention is to have an income generating website, likelihood is anything GoDaddy or anything WordPress isn't going to do it for you um, unless you're heavily product driven. Um, and it's been my experience that it, it literally is just a fancy brochure. When, you're, when you have the opportunity to generate revenue from 10 separate uh, strategies, then you have the ability to turn that into money while you sleep, which of course is different than when you're trying to sell a book. So, and, and just on that topic, um, Bettina, um, because income activator comes with an e-commerce, uh, uh, software you can add. And even if you have like, you know, five products or 20 products or a hundred products, you'll find that the other website platforms start charging you uh, for a certain number of products. So if you have more than five products, they charge you more money. And if you have 10 products, they charge you even more money. And so it's, it's ridiculous. Anyway, it's unlimited with the income activator. I don't care how many products you have, just put them all in. Because I'm for, income activators for the entrepreneur. You've, you've got the e-commerce, and you've got the software that's used by Google, the pay-per-click software, and the lead tracking software used by uh, Angie's List and Home Advisor and thousands of other, other companies. So it's leveled the playing field for the entrepreneur. You can now compete with the big tech and the social media companies. Pri previously, you couldn't because they wouldn't give you the software. Other thing that I would say too, and, and this is a distinction between having income activator at the $60 a month level versus the membership. Uh, some folks are actually moving into the membership because we have the right stuff built in. The value of the package has the angel sponsor list and all of the PowerPoint and everything that you would need to contact a sponsor for your book, for your shows, if you're going to do a TV show or a blog or podcast. Um, it also has a radio list. So if you're interested in getting on the radio and getting your voice, your message out to the masses, that is also of interest. And, in, and it comes out to, you know, not very much a month. Uh, it's $15.99 a year. And so it covers a lot of ground. In addition, you get the five minute spotlight on the WWTVN which uh, Lee negotiated for us, that's owned by Shea Vaughn. And that is also priceless. And TU has succeed, successfully made that happen for herself. Yeah, I mean- TU's on, uh, or it, it, is TU's on yeah. and she only has a, maybe a minute or two. Can you pop on TU and um, share a little bit? Cause Ann and you know each other at, uh, from the Patrick Snow community. It might be easier for you to explain it too. Unmute yourself. Unmute. Unmute. I killed the, I, I brought the picture back, forgot the audio. Um, <laughs> I think uh, one thing that I would like to say is that the video, the five minute highlight video is huge in the sense that um, you get to share and they get, you share your story, but they also hear your passion and they see your expressions and those speak volumes where when you're doing it on any other platform, they don't get to really know you as well. The audience needs to see your integrity and your passion for what you do. 
Um, on that note, you know, um, the angel sponsors, there are so many angel sponsors out there that can also help you if you ever choose to do uh, a show yourself through Shavon's program. And the one, you know, Bettina and Lee have gone beyond uh, any of my expectations and the things that they're able to offer us in the membership. So um, kudos to both of you ladies because you're fine role models and wonderful examples of where we can all go when we believe in ourselves. And, you know, they give us all the tools that we need. All we need to do is look at the tools and, and understand enough about how they all fit together so that we can move forward and all become more successful in our goals. Yeah, I mean, T, you're right on because right now, what you, what you should say, you're so much more above a YouTuber. You're now on mainstream TV, live streaming, and you can say to... Um, Walmart, let's just say, um, do you align with my message? And Walmart is very pro women and they may throw 50 to a hundred thousand dollars your way, uh, annually to align with you because they know that your message will create more sales for them than a hundred thousand dollars in ads. Exactly. And, and the one thing too, is that when we start doing all these, uh, different video clips, and we start promoting um, not only our message, but the vehicles in which we can share our message with others, the audience becomes unlimited. And we don't really know, you know, writing a book is a huge, huge accomplishment. Kudos to you and for getting so far along. I've been watching your journey and you are such an inspiration. Mm -hmm. And heavens, yes, I'm gonna order your book. Haven't done it <laughs> yet, but I will. And and the cool thing is that, you know, we are a family here and we empower you. We are a family. Not only uh, we have such a diversity of people that bring so much value to this platform and we need that structure and guidance. I mean, a year ago, I never thought that I would be doing anything that I'm doing now, you know, and here the book is thanks to Patrick Snow, who's also um, on the Zooms a lot, you know, on the summits every three months. And to know that we're speaking on uh, such delicate issues, but we do it with such tact and integrity. And it's because of people like Bettina and Lee that have led us with um, so much style and so much uh, value. The information blows me away that sometimes I get a little overwhelmed and I have to step back and sort through everything that I'm taught because it would be so easy to be overwhelmed and then not do anything. So yes. don't ever stop there. Thank Always so move much. forward. <laughs> Thank you so much to you for sharing your perspective. And uh, to you is also a speaker at the summit. And that is one of the member benefits. Um, uh, we sell the time now for $100 a minute. And the members get 30 minutes in a breakout session to go through their topic with anyone that they invite and also some of the guests that we entertain uh, uh, worldwide. And um, I'm going to return here to the angel sponsors package because this is one of our key uh, components to the membership, which uh, I'll call out because it was mentioned several times now. And Lee has done an amazing job at putting together everything you need to uh, prospect for sponsors. So uh, when you're a member, you go in the back door, you, we give you the keys to the kim kingdom and you can um, join uh, and through what I just went through, the portal that I went through, and access this um, great package. So in this package, you get the list of sponsors, or 500 corporate sponsors and their contact information. You get the sponsorship package template that includes the PowerPoint, Word document, splash page, powerful phrases, words, and there's videos to help, to help you guide you through this journey of um, customizing these templates for yourself. You get the cover letter or cover email, the telephone scripting, no less, and the contract that you would sign with them in order to close the sponsors that your hearts may desire. So uh, this is just one of the many benefits of the 1599 We Empower You package. It's one that I love to present on as, as you can see. Yeah, that's great, but it'd be hard to come up with the $1,500 to begin with. 
that's my problem. Just give us a call. We are happy to make payment arrangements with you as well. So we're in the business of uh, financing people to the point where they need to get to because we know that you can generate income from this opportunity. So definitely just uh, call Lee, call me. You'll, you'll get a better sense of what we're able to do for you. Money is no object in our world. Just so you know. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, something to say? You? I do. I, I apologize. I have to go. It's such a blessing to be here and definitely take a look at the, uh, the package that Bettina, Bettina and Lee have put together regarding the angel sponsors. I've been looking at that quite deeply and this is going, I'll be doing this again real soon too, because now that the book is out in the market, you know, we need to be able to promote what we do and carry our message forward. So show us your book one more time. Oh my goodness. Excuse my back. <laughs> It'll come in. Back it up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe she puts it in front of her chest more. There, there, you, go. there you go. There well you go. Done. Perfect. Yes. All right. Thank you so much to you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye bye. Thank you, Anne, for your Bye, question. question. Bye, Lee. Next time, everyone, once more, and uh, go through my introduction of Master Nigel Henry and. He is performed here for many weeks now. I am so loving working with Master Nigel Henry. His topic today is using your voice as your moneymaker. Since 1999, Master Nigel has been developing and marketing mastery performance activation tools, distinctions and practices that are intended for unleashing the greatness of the extraordinary beings that we are, like me, who are emerging in the world, innovative, disruptive, highly gifted, high performance, highly sensitive, deep thinking, heart-centered, purpose-driven, entrepre entrepreneurial change angels. And as a fellow change angel, Master Nigel is responsible for the growth and expansion of the change angel activation movement, whose mission in business is locating, assembling, and activating 144,000 tribe members like me, who have the life calling for massive and rapid beneficial change on the planet. Master Nigel's offerings are a great fit for the extraordinary beings like me who are already passionate about practicing and teaching. And join me in welcoming Master Nigel Henry to the stage. Go ahead and unmute. Yes, so uh, there's no volume control on that. I'll just speak up. How about that? Okay, speak up. There you go. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I think my intro says most of what I'm about. Um, I'll just recap it, that I'm on the planet serving the extraordinary beings. And that name, those beings have, have labels. Here's one of those labels, black sheep. I don't even, uh, can only see one person. I like to be interactive, but I only see one person. So it will be nice to see it. Ah, if you're, if, if you, here we go. Here's some names that describes my audience, okay? Ideal audience. Like I, when I'm with these people, we get along. Uh, weird, that's me, right? Oh, hello. <laughs> Out of the box. Unconventional, disruptive, troublemaker. Uh oh, oh, well, now I'm kind of niching, niching. Uh, did I say weird? Yeah, okay, a weird. Uh, okay, so those are like surface description. If you kind of peel away that and start looking in their heart and their minds, you'll see spiritual. They're like, oh, I'm a very spiritual person. Like, I don't mean religious, like they're not fanatics about whatever religion. They're like, me and God, we have a little conversation and they have conversations with God. Like, who are you talking to? Oh, uh, no one. What do you mean by no one? Well, actually my intuition, there's a, I'm talking to something, it's a voice in my head or in my, and we have a lot of conversations. 
I think there's a guy, Neil Donald Walsh, uh, Conversations with God, that, that kind of stuff. And that voice sort of gives them ideas that's not already in the world. So my people download stuff and they've been doing that since they were a child. And at the time that it was happening, they thought they were just imagining living out of space. You know, you know those people like live in another world in their minds? No, just me, I'm crazy. <laughs> okay. uh, by the way, you can unmute on my, I like my sessions. I like my people to be talking. So actually I find it very disturbing when everyone's on mute, because I, I feel like I'm talking to myself, all right? So you can disrupt me at will, right? The, the only thing I recommend is don't bring any background noise into the space. But yeah, so I see Anne talking, right? Just turn down your volume, by the way, just so that if, if you're hearing, yeah, that's a little, yeah, so it cuts out the echo. But you, as long as your mic is on, that's what, you hear that echo? It just means, if you can hear an echo, it means your volume is too loud. I turned it way down, but maybe yeah, I'll just... Yeah, it, 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 might be, it might be someone else, but let me just... No, nope, that won't work. Hang on. I think you're okay, Anne. No, you're okay. On you. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, it's not you. It's... Um, let me see now. Uh, yeah, but you're right. It's uh, more, Moria, your volume is too low, Moria. I mean, too high. That's where the echo is coming from. Just turn down your volume on your uh, system. Ask to unmute. Whatever your volume control on your computer is, just turn it down a little bit. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but Anna's fine. Anna is fine, Moria. You're fine. So, yes. So, what that allows. I do unconventional stuff. So if you notice on most Zoom call, the first thing they ask you to do is mute your mic and you see the majority, right? And I do the exact opposite. I want you to unmute your mic so that your voice can talk as soon as you have an idea. In other words, I love when you disrupt me. Now again, unconventional, you see? I'm the speaker, I have the floor, you should wait till I finish, and then we have questions at the end. I just says, no, no, no. You're a teacher in my mind, and because of that weird connection that you have with the spiritual realm, you can download it any time. And you know what that's called? Aha! Have you ever been talking to someone like, aha? Well, when you have that, that's magic, and I want to hear it, because it's usually related to something I'm saying. And if you say it, you'll get paid. Are you okay with that, Anne? Hello? You, yeah, I'm okay with that. It kind of, yeah, I'm still here. It kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. You're the opposite of my parents. They would hate it when I burst in and interrupted. <laughs> exactly. So that's why I have a very narrow audience because everybody obeyed their parents and died follow convention you know it's rude to disrupt someone and all that and i was like no 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 i think it's rude to sit there and be quiet <laughs> i think uh hey we're having a conversation look you're nodding and you said uh-huh and i want to hear what you have to say you want to hear what i have to say right and the only difference between me and you anna is that i practice talking more than you do because i don't really right now i think m most people who've heard me before they've heard me say my voice is my money maker just say that anna just because i think you're relatively new to me sure my voice is my money maker and say I it about it three times that way soon <laughs> wait 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 repeat it back hold on there I my gotta, voice I is think... my money maker and that's going to happen real soon yes excellent hey there's troy <laughs> welcome great one uh now the point that you the thing that you added is an error the last part now we said it's going to happen real soon anna yeah that piece was an error your voice is your money maker period gotcha 
So I just say it again six times. My voice is my money maker. Money maker. My, you know how? I can... Go ahead. My voice One. is my money maker times six. No, no, you got to say it six times. I'm counting. <laughs> My voice is my money maker. It's my money maker. It's my money maker. It's my money maker. It's my money maker. No, no, you're cheating. She's cheating. Well, I am a troublemaker, okay. remember? Yes. Now, excellent. See, at least you're talking with me, right? We're having an engagement here. Now, let me just do a quick commercial while I'm at it, okay? So I'm working with Bettina and I am offering this thing called the Financial Miracle Challenge, okay? And we're on actually day three today for the November session. And there are three people in it that came from this very group. And um, let me put the link in the chat so that you can check it out. It's, it's my website with forward slash um, empower. So it's the Bettina. <laughs> You're coming through, Bettina, all right? So let me just put it in there to get it out of the way because I usually forget, um, I usually forget to mention it, all right? So hold on there and I'm just gonna copy this thing and paste it in the chat so that I don't forget, beep, and power. One second, I thought I had it ready to go. Uh, there it is, there it is. There's the link. Copy, go to chat, chat, paste. You see it? Uh oh. Uh, let me put it for everyone. You see it? Here is the link. So at any time you're ready, in fact, before or after this conversation, just click on that link and it takes you over to the We Empower portal that gets you into my world. And then whatever I'm offering through Bettina, that's where you go, right? Now, let me go back to Anna. So I love that you are a troublemaker, right? It means that you do not follow the rules, which will make you an outcast very soon. Now, the only difference between me and you is that I would like you to behave in a way that increases your cash flow. So if you're gonna be an outcast, be like Steve Jobs. He was definitely an outcast. He was casted out of his own company, okay? Apple, but he ended up being a trillionaire or something, right? That's what I would like for you. And you're well on the way by just refusing to follow convention. That's the beginning. Now, that's the beginning. If you want to just be an ordinary person and then follow the rules, it's called being normal, right? And so when I started talking, I definitely said black sheep, like picture of a sheep and there's hundreds of white sheep and there's one black sheep, but what, what kind of sheep is that, right? Or another one is tall poppy. You're in a poppy field and there's one plant sticking out. What the hell is that, right? This oddball, just this weirdo. And there's a video I saw on YouTube where all these little six-year-olds are dancing to the beat and then they pan out and there's one little girl, she's doing something crazy. Like she's not <laughs> dancing to the beat. I'm like, who that is? Oh, one of my pips, one of my peoples, okay? And so another sign of my people is that they're extremely bright. Like their brain is just on a whole nother level. I, I was reading Bill Gates' biography and it was starting from his grandfather to his father to him. And the guy was off the charts from a very young age and he was a nerd. So here's another symptom. You're a nerd, <laughs> da, da, da. right? So all these people are called the 1% crazy. And I think Lee played that video the other day, uh, just in our presentation that Apple used in 1984 and Steve Jobs was speaking it out. He was actually reading a text that basically says, we call them disruptors or something, and but they're crazy. But they're crazy to think that they can change the world and it's the crazy ones that do. That's my people. My people 
think and know somehow that they were sent here to change the world. And as they're coming along, they go through a whole bunch of stuff, like craziness, because they don't fit. And how, if you don't fit, how are you going to change the world? If you're not, if nobody likes you, like, how is that going to change the world? And a lot of my people are in psychiatric places, right? One, because some of them think there's something wrong with them because they don't fit. And two, some of them, their family put them there because the family thinks there's something wrong with them. And three, they get bullied and all sorts of things. I mean, they go through a lot. But for some reason, they're wired differently. And this wiring does not get changed by words and language and beat and pressure. So after a while, if they heal, they'll pop up again and still be weird. So that's my people. (laughs) They're just not destructible. Like you just have to kill them. And some of them have been killed a lot, okay? So I'm here, like I'm the messenger, the Pied Piper for that group. And for some reason, Bettina has my people. That's why I keep showing up here every week. Because every week, one of them, a new one, will just show up out of the blue. I'm like, oh, and you notice I'll have an interaction with just one person. And they're like, yeah. And then the rest of them are also there, but they're still checking Nigel out. But my weirdo, like, interacts with me right away. (laughs) Straight away, we start talking. So today, my weird person is Anna. Okay, so and I'm going to talk to you. So the thing is, and that difference that you are, that disruptor, that out of the box, that everything is a special gift to the planet Earth. Did you hear that? It's like God said, okay, everybody's so normal. I want to gift an extra. This is like a Rolls Royce. I want to drop a Rolls Royce in the mix. Have you ever been to like, a t- I'm just imagining this scenario, a Walmart car park, massive. You've seen those Walmart, massive car park. And there's all sorts of cars in there. And in fact, there's a section where all the Mercedes and the Maseratis and the Range Rovers just park. And everyone's like, whoa, look at that nice car, man. And while they're all admiring this car, all the nice cars, the high end, a Rolls Royce pulls in, a white one, the uh, Wraith, the new Wraith. And you know what happens? All those people that are looking at these electric cars, they're like, whoa, they just turn and look at this one car. You know what that Rolls Royce is called? Weirdo. (laughs) Anna. (laughs) Straight away, attention goes over to you whether you like it or not, right? And they can't quite put their finger on it. With the Rolls Royce, they've made it plain that we're different and we're the best in the world. It turns out that my people are the Rolls Royce. But because they've been called names like oddball, weirdo, nerdy, they don't think of it that way. But I have studied them for 20 years, and that's my people, and that's the Rolls Royce. So, Anna, how much do you think a Rolls Royce is worth? Uh, Let's see. Last time I think I looked up the price, it was over $200,000, and that was years ago. Yes, well, the latest low starting price of the cheapest Rolls Royce is $350,000 with no extras added. And the highest, there's one called the Sweat Tail. There's only one, I think, that they built. Would you like to guess how much it costs? I don't know, 4.2 million. I don't know. Oh, no, no, it was 1 billion. It's a $1 million car. The car, right? That's the Rolls Royce. Billion dollar car. Oh, million, million. It's a million dollars for one car. Million. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I guess it was way off. Yeah. No, no, you went too far. But you're in the right mindset. Like it's extraordinary price. Guess what? The nerdies are the Rolls Royce. They cannot be destroyed. They cannot be corrupted. If you put them amongst the masses, they will stand out whether they like it or not. And the only issue that my people have is that they don't know that they're the Rolls Royce. They have been brainwashed to think that they're 
just normal person gone wrong? And I say, no, it's the other way around. It's the standard forgotten. Normal people have forgotten that this is the standard. And so one of the qualities of my people is they like to talk. Have you, do you like talking, Anna? Not when I was younger, but I do like it now. Well, repeat after me. My voice is my moneymaker. My voice is my moneymaker. Yes. So I know you're an ambitious person. You want to make a difference. You have so much talent that you want to get out in the world. And the only thing interfering with you is this, cash flow. Mm-hmm. True? True. Yeah. It's not. Usually health you can fix, relationship you can fix, but this thing is what plagues my people. This. And they have so many dreams that they want to manifest, but this thing. So that's why I created my first like intro is Miracle Financial. Let's get that out of the way. All right. So that we just don't, it just doesn't get in the way anymore. But back to, but what I, here's the good news, Anna. This is the thing I want to tell you, man. This thing that you have at the front of your face, this thing here is actually a money-making device. You know, um, Lee is teaching us to use systems and websites, great machines that just pump money in while you're sleeping. But the creator already thought of that. (laughs) Duh. (laughs) But the thing is, what I found out, nobody's remembered that. The only people that remember that are the top 1%. And uh, so this is what I'm going to say to you then. Every dollar in your account, Anna, every single dollar you have in your bank account came in there because you said something. What do you think about that? Just talk to me. Talk to me now. What do you oh, think? That's true. No, yeah, you're right. That is very, very true. I had to say something. Give me an example. Yeah, well, give me an example of some money that you made and, you know, and see if you can remember how the money got there. Probably through social media, but I still have. Oh, well, was like, no, just think of a like start with the dollar. Like the other day, five bucks landed in my bank account. And I'm like, how did I get there? Oh, I had a conversation, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Start with the money first. And then let's see if we can reverse engineer to find out what conversation you had that put it in there. Now, sometimes, right, there is no money in the account, Nigel. That's, that's an issue. Don't go there. You're going to embarrass me because there's, <laughs> there's not, that's the issue I'm having. There is not enough money in the account. And I say, oh, well, that's because either you're talking weird or you're not talking at all. So usually the issue is my people are not talking. They're listening. So I'd like to say this, my friend, Anna, this listening thing is an expense. Every time you take in information and value by listening, money is leaving your account. Have you been attending any courses recently? No. Online? No. Okay. Good move. Good move. <laughs> now, I'm not against them. I'm just saying they cost money. Yes. Yes. Now, have you been giving any courses lately, Anna? No, because I have not developed one. I don't care why, I'm telling you, until you are the speaker, there's no money going in your account, you see? But if you attend someone else's, you have to spend. And that's, you've heard of student debt, right? Yes, definitely. You know what is student debt? Because students consume all day. They take in information for five, 10 years. They take out loans to learn, and I'm telling you, Taking in information is an expense item. Now, if I was a smart person and a student, I'd be giving a lecture while I'm at college. Hey, guys, can I give you all a lecture about math while I'm in the math class? So at least I'll be breaking even or paying, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) So that's the first rule. Whoever is doing the talking is making the money. Lee, a perfect model. What was she doing for the last hour talking and you know if she keeps talking and we keep listening we're gonna buy whatever she's selling 
and I think she's doing the right thing. So what Nigel's saying, hey, Anna and my peoples, you're supposed to be doing what Lee's doing, talking and putting money in the bank and using systems to, to leverage your talking. So Lee's talking, and then she has this thing called income activator that leverage what she's saying. You see what I'm saying? But she's talking. That thing doesn't just go off by itself. She shows up every Wednesday and talk about her machine. Voice is the money maker, my friend. Can you say that, please? The more you say it, the more it works. My voice is my money maker. There you go. As long as you keep saying that. Now, do you have children or siblings? Yes. or children and grandchildren. Have you? Well, this is the message I'd like you to pass down to those grandchildren, both generations. Have them repeat after you. The, the grandchild who said, come on, listen, repeat, repeat after grandma. My voice, to that little baby, my voice is my money maker. And by the time that baby can talk for, it's like, ah, oh, my money maker, mama, money maker. That's what I want. So that your child is cranking crash out at a very early age. And then let's just say you have a son or daughter who's in there, whatever, they, they're your children now. It's never too late to get this money maker working. So stop them from consuming, bless you, and get I'm them to. to go. Uh, oh. I'm going to have to go. No, no, I it's fine. Let, I'll tell you what's happening with your voice. <laughs> well, let me share what's happening with her voice. As I'm talking, her voice is getting activated. Notice she's coughing. <laughs> she might think that she's sick, but that's not sick. That's wellness occurring. Her voice is saying, I agree with Nigel, and it's time to clear out whatever is interfering so that we can talk more. That's what I'm predicting. And yes, when she drinks water, it loosens up what it is. But coughing is the first sign of the money making, money, money maker working. All right, so Nigel, where are you going with this, man? <laughs> All right, the first thing is, I just want to make sure that everyone's clear that the voice is the money maker. Now, where I was going with it is that when I say what everyone else is saying, i.e. normal conversation, it doesn't really make a lot of money. In fact, this is where that pyramid, I'm going to, I show it every week, but I'm going to show it again now to explain it on a whole different level about the voice. So my people are in this crazy 1% here and they channel, and when they channel, they're saying something that hasn't been heard yet. And that's why it sounds crazy. It's like, huh, man, I've never heard that before, Nigel. Does it, I, I don't understand it. And the first sign that we know you're channeling is you cause confusion in the audience. If the people are confused when you're talking, it's a great sign. Notice that goes against conventional wisdom. Nigel, can you break it down so we understand? No, I'm hoping that you're confused. And confusion is a sign that what I'm saying is brand new and your mind has never heard of it before and means that it's about to upgrade. So normal is what everybody does. And if what I'm saying, you understand it and it makes sense, then it's here, okay? And there's no new money here. To make some money, you gotta say something new that nobody's heard of like iPhone. Does everyone remember when that word just came out? And I was like, what's that? And because it was just way out there, if I recall, there was two double lines wrapped around the block to get to an Apple store to buy this weird thing called an iPhone. Can I get a witness from somebody? <laughs> I can't see anyone. Let me come out of this thing. What's Troy saying, man? Say something to me. Uh, yes, the, uh, the early adopters are there to get their, uh, the iPhone. The, the early uh, adopters, yeah. The, the one they're, percenters. They're weirdos, the <laughs> nerds. They love that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. right? A new gadget, right? So yes, um, that's my audience. The people that don't like are checking me out, they're waiting for everybody else for the trend to happen. 
by the time they get on board, we've moved on to the iPhone 13, right? Like my mother is like, she's still on one of those flip phones. <laughs> and it's like, uh, right, she's not changing. That's what this line represents, no change, okay? So that's not my audience, but it is the majority of the planet. The majority of the planet don't like new. They might improve a little bit, but they don't want anything new because it's not safe. It sounds risky and weird, and we've never heard of it before, and no one else is talking about it. And this Nigel is definitely weird anyway. So I've learned that this, this group is not my market, but they are always the majority in any market that I go to. But there's always a little one, a nerdy, a weirdo in the group who's like, hey, I get what you're saying. That's my people. And then there are people in between, normal and totally out there. And they are kind of interesting. They like to get information. It's very stimulating, but it's not enough to make them buy anything, but they like the info. Can I get a witness on some of this? <laughs> Troy, is that you? Feels like Nigel, I'm talking um, about you. Uh, oh, I was going to ask Nigel uh, if you've talked to Jody tonight. Which one's Jody? Jody Allen, yeah. Jody's not able to speak tonight. Oh, too bad. Okay. Yeah, See, jo it's, Jody's responsible for getting me connected to Bettina, and this is the I have have seen her in months. So, okay, oh, cool. Yes. All right. Well, welcome, yes. Jody. Looking forward to hearing your voice. Um, have we lost Anna? Yeah, I, th I think she wrote that she had to go. Okay. All right. So, but back to the world. So the nerd people, my peoples, I call them change angels. And how I got to that was I was working with a lot of people here and, you know, I was teaching some new stuff and I was making very little progress. Like after about a year, I had no cash to show for my efforts. And in fact, not just a year, about five or six years, I was teaching this stuff and then I had a little breakthrough where I started speaking at Rotary Clubs and Chambers of Commerce. And I discovered these people. And they like, well, as long as you can help us show us how this stuff makes money, Nigel, we're interested. So I started talking to these people, but I still wasn't making a lot of progress until I heard a voice. Remember I said that I talked to a voice in my head and it said, Nigel, you're not here to serve these people or these people or these you're here to serve these people up here called change angels. I'm like, what's a change angel? Oh, those are the only ones that resonate with you immediately and make apply what you say. Really? That's a change angel? Well, what's an angel? And then I Googled, I think Patrick Snow asked me that last week. What's the difference between an earth angel and a change angel? And I said, the only difference is one of them is embodied. So for me, a change angel is one of these spiritual, highly gifted, like heavenly beings in human form. Uh, and one of them is, is uh, Bettina. And, and so they don't walk around saying, hey, I'm a change angel, unless you ask them. And so that's how I met Bettina. I said, excuse me, Bettina, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Are you an angel? And she said, yes. Oh, <laughs> whoa, that was too strong. And well, I said, well, this is what I teach. And she, like, she just loved it right away. And I was like, do you have more people like you? And she goes, yes, come to We Empower You um, every Wednesday, and you'll find my people. So that's why I'm here again, because one of the change angels on the planet has a place where she gathers them, and they're all at different stages of this chart, but they're here. And so... <laughs> Yes. Nigel, uh, this is Moria, and we talked a week or so ago, and uh, when I woke up one morning, I thought, oh, I can be an angel of exploration, and I looked up exploration, and it's right on. I've even got some of the words here that I'd written down. Um, inquiry, delving, examining, investigation, research, intuitive, observant, intense, oh, insightful, yeah. and I like that. I, I can identify with that. I can say it without feeling weird. 
Well, I don't mind feeling it, weird, but I, I want to feel more. Yeah. yeah. In other words, it resonates with you. It's like you found your clothes. Like, yes. Oh, this is me. Yes. So that's exactly right. And so this is, if you notice on um, Troy's uh, um, thing, he's got his angel identity, the angel of freedom. Nigel, the angel of activation. And I think last week, Katina had the angel of connection. And now, thank God, we have the angel of exploration. Yes. Right? And now what that means is the planet is better off because the angel of exploration is here. And she's different. You see? Yes. Not only is she different, she's unique. I don't think there's another one of these types of beings on Earth. Therefore, she's the one. I'll okay. take that. <laughs> well, I recommend that you give that, you see. Okay. So the first thing, yeah, you as an angel, there's some rules that apply to my people. And the first rule is that we have a one direction. We're like the sun. We shine out only. We don't absorb light. We give out light. Yes? So we don't take in other people's information. And even when we do, we just pass it out straight away. So what I heard Nigel say, we pass it out right away. We don't store uh, angel of uh, exploration. We transmit by adding value. So yes. whatever you hear, you just add exploration magic to it and put it out. And this is where the big money is. This is what innovation is. How can we, what does this thing look like when it comes through the angel of exploration? You see, the value goes up immediately. Now, the thing is, Angel of Exploration, is that unless the world hears your voice, they don't even know that you exist. So question, which I'm very pleased, thanks for speaking up and disrupting me, because you now <laughs> you like added something. Oh, wow, such a wonderful, it was beautiful. Now I can talk to with someone. Um, are you speaking, a oh, great Angel of Exploration? What was your question? Are you speaking on a regular basis? Uh, I'm not, but I'm much more motivated to go to podcasts and radio shows now that that became clear to me. Now, what I'd like to say for those angels who are still looking for their purpose and identity is it comes out quicker when you're talking. And I think I've explained before that an angel my people, my weirdos, right? My nerdies, right? <laughs> right? My people, we're channels, literally like a channel, like a garden hose, and water flows through it. But when we don't talk, it's like the hose has been disconnected from the valve for a while and just sitting there in the garden flat. And yes. as soon as you reconnect it, you know what it does when you turn on the thing? It goes, <laughs> it sputters. And a lot of my people have mistaken that sputtering to think they're saying something wrong. No, it's just old water kind of get out. You just got to keep talking the wrong thing for a while. And after a while, it will just flow smoothly. That's why I was saying, use your money maker regularly, even especially on these calls, this, this Wednesday call, make sure that you get up and say something. In fact, that's why I interact with my clients so that they actually are transmitting on this broadcast. So do you mind if we get you to do some talking? Oh, please. Who are you here to serve, Angel of Exploration? Anybody who has a need for curiosity to be satisfied and for answers to questions that they've been thinking about but can't get far enough. I want to go with them and lead them on. Question. Oh, great. Angel of Explanation. How much do you charge for your services? Good question. I haven't come to that conclusion yet. One uh, answer. I'm going to give you an answer. A lot. Okay. A lot. It's a lot. And then I would just pick a number that makes me uncomfortable. Go. <laughs> 400 an hour. 
Done. Is that an uncomfortable number? Oh, yeah. Very good. So now I'd like you to turn to Troy and say, Troy, I'm the angel of exploration, and my fees are 400 an hour. Just talk to him right now. Hi, Troy. This is Moria. I'm the angel of exploration, and my fees are $400. Would you like to ask him anything? No, no. No, no. $400 no. per hour. $400 per hour. Period. Period. <laughs> Great to meet you, Moria. Pardon me? Uh, let him Great to meet your acquaintance. And uh, what's the angel of expiration do? Oh, wait, wait. Ahead, before you answer that, I want people to just deal with your price because <laughs> you're not free anymore. Okay. Those inquiries are valuable and cost money. So, yeah, we might do a little bit of freebie to get them in the groove, getting them in the mood. But you have to charge money for those gifts because it took you a long time to find it. You know how long? You understand? This is precious stuff. Thou yeah. shalt not cast. Thou shalt never cast thy pearls. Well, I won't say, but you know where I'm going, right? Yes. Your your inquiry is pearls, and pearls are expensive. You are a Rolls Royce, Angel Mora. Therefore, everything about you is expensive. I think Anna gave us the price for a Rolls Royce for, was it 350 basic model rate? That's the, that's the young kids Rolls Royce. Yep. 350, <laughs> right? That's you. So let's get it, get you started off on the right foot that yes, I'm the angel of exploration. I engage people in deep and inquiry and discovery and I charge a minimum 400 bucks per hour. Any other questions? You see? I Down see. Yes. Your value, your mouth is your money maker. And the first thing it does, it announces your rates. Well, and is it okay to say at that first time uh, after I say, and my rate is $400 an hour, and I'd be happy to offer a, a, a complimentary uh, 30 Oh, really? Not, not even at the beginning? No, stop. stop all that. You are going to encourage freebies, free, hmm. free. One of my mentors, his name is Myron Golden. He came up with these, I think it's four types of people or three types, but I think I remember the first three. He said, Nigel, there are three types of customers. There's the free people. He called them free pulls, free pulls. They'll come to your thing and they will never buy anything because they want it free and bad for business. So don't talk, don't market to those people and don't offer them anything. Just so there's free pulls. And then there's another group. Uh, uh, I think your, your mic is, do you have a volume control on your thing? More? I, I can't find how to put it down. I've been trying and I can't, I can't find okay, no, uh, okay, I'll work with you. It's above the number uh, three on your laptop. It's above the numeral number three. And oh. yeah. Is that better? Okay. Up and down. Go down. There you go. Down. Yeah. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Sounds yes. good, Maura. That's think. better? I think. Okay. We'll... Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, so yes. Now, sheeple. Remember those people? They, no, not sheeple. Freeple. Freeple. Right. They just want everything free. And yeah. those are people who will come to your event and never buy anything but take notes all day. So don't take any more notes, Maura. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't model that because you'll attract them, okay? <laughs> but just know that they exist. There's a lot of them and they're normal. It's just, remember that red part, the normal survivor people, they have limited income and they don't want to spend it. Nigel, I have, I'm on a budget and I don't want to spend anything. And so have you got anything for free? So they, they're called free people. And there's a ton of these people. Don't judge them. They just exist. Just be aware. Then there's another group. Who, they want to buy something, but it has to be cheap. They don't like your rates of 400 and, was it $497 an hour? 400 yeah. an hour. <laughs> it's okay to upgrade. You can, your value's gone up in my world. 
you've gone up. I'm sorry, your price has gone up to 497, okay, an hour. And these people are like, Maura, man, come on. Uh, you know how it is. I want to do business with you, but can you drop your price to 197 or $97 so I can buy your thing? Cheap people. What if I said 297 Maura, where are you going? You're a Rolls Royce. Prices don't come down. Huh. Rolls Royce prices don't come down. When was the last time you heard a sale at Rolls Royce? Never. Have you heard of a sale at Rolls Royce? No. No. No, they don't have sales. Okay. So there's, yeah, there's another group where they will spend, but only if you have two digits in your price. $97, $27, $35. And they're very, at least they will buy something. And that's where most marketing is targeted at. Buy our free ebook for $27 and then you get them moving, right? I used to have those people, but the mindset, man, it's just too much work, okay? So you got your free pool that will sit and show up to your webinar every day and don't buy anything. And you have your cheap pool that will buy something if it's 27, 97, don't have it be more than three digits otherwise they ain't buying nothing right if it's 197 you lost them so again they're called cheaples and uh this is the group that we want uh premium people they're like uh what's this angel of uh, exploration how many of those are there on the earth one man i want that how many watches like that? One. How many Rolls Royce built? What? I want that. Is she good? That's your audience, uh, uh, Angel of Exploration. You want that audience because that audience is like Bettina. When I met Bettina, right, I'm talking to her because I've never met her. I'm just putting out my magic. And she heard something. Bing. And I'm talking. She goes, Nigel. Stop, I'm like, stop. I got so much value, I must pay you right now. Bettina, this is Bettina. Great Bettina right here. I'm like, okay, what do you pay me for? You said something and it added so much value and she got out her Venmo account on her phone and went bing and paid me money. I'm like, whoa, Whoa, Bettina, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to sell something here, FMC. I'm selling FMC. You need to buy that. She goes, well, listen, Nigel, I have more money than time. Bing. I'm like, ooh, I like this lady. She's got more money than time. I like her. But either way, I wanted to sell her my FMC, not just wanted to pay me for value received. But I like that kind of client. They pay premium for things that is good and different that's who you want Bettina of the world yeah and so so I said Bettina can you redirect that money so that it's paying for FMC she goes sure but I'm not sure if I have time for this Nigel because I'm a busy woman I'm running several companies and so I said yeah but just register for it and let the time thing work itself out and lo and behold she did and showed up. And that's when I do my magic premium. She paid the premium to get in. And now you see, I got her undivided attention. So the next thing for you, Angel of Exploration, to learn this rule about humans or all beings, at least in the human form, people pay attention when they pay. Repeat. People pay attention when they pay. And the more they pay is the more focused they are. The more they pay, the more focused they are. It's like this. They like, uh, example, my highest paying client, I met him. I was walking by. My intuition said, Nigel, that's one of your people. And up to him, he says, the long story short, he became a client and he, asked, he didn't became a client. He just listened to me talk like this. And at the end of my talk, he says, so how much do you charge? And out of my mouth, uh, angel of exploration, Mora, came the word, $30,000. 
I was like, I was shocked. I've never said a word. I was like you, man, in the 400 an hour, that kind of range. And out of my mouth came $30,000. And strangely enough, this guy didn't blink. He just went, okay. And the next question he asked me was, uh, do you have any references? Have you heard this story already? No, no. Yeah. And I said, no, I don't have any references. And he's like, what? How can you be selling something for 30,000 and have no references? I'm like, dude, I don't, um, my um, Rolls Royces, they don't have references. But you just know this is a Rolls Royce and you buy one, you don't have to like go and get referrals from your friends. How's your Rolls Royce? Do you think I should buy one? They don't have that problem, okay? So um, he's arguing with me. I said, listen, dude, let me just stop you. The reason why you want a reference and reference from other people is because you think that you want to make sure that if you give me $30,000, which I'm shocked that I said, I'm not going to run off with your money and you're not, you know, you're not going to get scammed. He goes, yeah, that's right. And I said, well, I'm going to tell you this right now. Even if I gave you references, it's not going to save you. He's like, what do you mean? I said, let me tell you this. You have been scammed before, haven't you? He goes, yeah. And you took up references before, didn't you? Yes. And you still got scammed, right? Yeah. And so I'm telling you, it's not going to save you again, but I can tell you why you got scammed and it was nothing to do with the references. Here is why you got scammed. Because your intuition told you no and you went ahead and said yes anyway. I hit him. Maura, because all my people have an intuitive guiding system that is the decision maker. But if they use their minds to override it, they get into trouble. So anyway, the net of it is this guy bought my program and worked with him for six months for $30,000. And one year later, he starts his own podcast and interviews me. And I said to him, man, I, I've never seen anyone absorb my material so fast and so quick. What, why did you do that? And this is what he said like that. He goes, Nigel, I paid $30,000. 30, oh, enough said. <laughs> the price made him focus. That's why I want your pearls to be expensive, angel of exploration. You're not allowed to devalue your offer. <laughs> and did you hear what I just said? So there's no reduction in price. You can give it away for free for a bit, just so that the person can sample. Like, you know how, um, what's the name? The podcast lady. Um, she did a podcast the other day. Um, who is it? The, were you there for the podcast um, boot camp? Bettina, who was that? Uh, Nancy Jutton. Yeah, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy did a thing at boot camp and she gave high value, which was worth something for nothing. And then she sold you a high value offer. So it wasn't that it was free. She was demonstrating how much value she's packing into her offer. And it was still expensive, but she discounted it so that you could just experience her magic. So yes, I recommend that approach but it doesn't mean your thing is not expensive. It just means you're suspending the price until people are comfortable how brilliant you are. And then the price just goes back to normal. Hmm. So, yeah, you're thinking, that's the thought. Put it on a loudspeaker. Um, it's just hard to imagine that uh, they're gonna, it's gonna take a while for them to think it out and so forth. I mean, I would be more comfortable and therefore more likely to reach out to more people if I made it 297. You know, it, 197 would be comfortable. 297 would still not be comfortable, but it would be more comfortable than 400. Question, did you say, when you say comfortable, whose comfort are you referring to? Moria's. Ah, this is where I sent uh, my man, Troy, a message today. 
Did you get my message, Troy? The Milan composure, composed message. Yeah. And this is it, Mora. And this again, it's like upside down thing, okay? Everything I say is a reverse of normality. Mora, the big money is outside of the comfort zone. Just say it back to me. The big money is outside the comfort zone. That's why I have your price at $497 an hour. No, $400. 400. 400. I, stop trying to come down. I know you're not comfortable. That's Why'd what I said was 400 so I'm going to stick with 400 I know why you're sticking. Would you like to know why you're sticking? Uh, because okay. I can almost be comfortable with it. That's right. You know why I'm rising it? Because uh, you don't want me to be comfortable? <laughs> I, because the big money is outside of your comfort zone. 400 is outside my comfort zone. Yeah, but so is 5,000. So guess what? My number is 5,000 an hour. I'm not going to be comfortable yeah. making calls. I don't give a damn about your comfort. I care ah. about your discomfort. I don't want you to be comfortable ever. I want you to be vomiting. Ah. Yes, I want your stomach knocked it up because that's where the big money is. And what I'll tell you, you're going to get used to that 497. And as soon as you do, I'm going to say, double it. By the way, when I started FMC, it was $297. And I was uncomfortable with that. And then I told Bettina, Bettina, I have got to double the price every month. And she said, yeah, do it. I'm like, well, Bettina's just badass. Bettina, I'm like, I'm comfortable. She's like, yeah, do it. So I doubled it from 297 to seven to 800 the second time around. Oh, and I was like, who's going to buy that? Guess what? Bettina bought it plus two other people. And I'm like, oh, Bettina, I've got to double the price again for no reason, Maura. No reason whatsoever. Unreasonable, crazy. What kind of craziness is this? Yeah, welcome to Nigel's world. So now it's 1600 bucks. What? For five days, Mora. The same program, same thing, price tripled. What the hell is Nigel thinking? Oh, you know what happens when you double your price for no reason? First of all, you get knots in your stomach and you worry about having any customer at all, Mora. <laughs> I was like, shit. I was like, I have bills to pay. And this experiment of raising prices is really out there. Is this a good time to do that? Why don't you just have, play safe so at least you can pay your bill? I did it. And lo and behold, three people are in this time at that price. I'm like, oh, shit. Nigel, don't tell me to double the price again. Don't. And so I'm like, that's, I'm at the edge of my comfort zone, but I want to be pushed over. Now, why am I doing this? Why am I saying this? Because that's one of the unconventional things. <laughs> the normal person will say, Nigel, I'm comfortable at this price. And I say, my people do the opposite. We do the price that we're most uncomfortable more. And some weird thing happens. The only people that show up for that kind of price are preemie people. Pre, preemie people, we call them. Premium buyers. Rolls Royce shoppers. And the quality of those customers are so different than your cheaply and your free people. I had the best. In fact, it's still running today. My God. And you know what I found out, uh, Maura? is that these people have friends. And they're like, hey, come over here. And you know what their friends are? Premium people. Oh, am I, is my time up? Bettina? It's in that warning. She's muted. Uh, I can't hear you, Bettina. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, you, you have seven minutes or thereabouts. Okay. And Troy was also going to disrupt with the testimony of you. Okay. Before you go, Troy, I just wanted to, I want to, uh, my intention is to make 
the angel of exploration is extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been upfront. I'm not here to make you feel good. I definitely, that was the first mistake I made when I started. I tried to make it comfortable for people and I got a whole bunch of junky people. The more uncomfortable it is, it filters out all the freebies and the pre and the cheap leads. And the only people that buy are people that buy Rolls Royces. And I say, my fellow change angel, the angel of exploration, you are in the Rolls Royce class, period. You, your entry into the market is not gradual. You arrive selling Rolls Royces. What's the Rolls Royce? We explore, we make you think, and how much you cost because you're brand new, you know, you got to enter. No, premium on entry. Uh, how do you justify that? Nobody knows of you. Uh, what are you saying, Mr. Prospect? Are you saying you want something free or cheap? Yeah, I think you should bring up, uh, you're not a good fit for me. Who? Who do you think you are? Oh, Rolls Royce. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you got to hold your position. And this is what happens when you hold long enough and of exploration. The universe hears you and says, oh, I guess she's serious. Only send her these kind of clients. And after a while, you're like, you can't remember the last time you had a cheaple. And cheaples don't like you because your price is so out of their range anyway that the only people that hear you are the premium people. And they're like, well, she must be good because she's expensive. Hmm. She must be different because I've never heard of her and her price is high. She reminds me of Tiffany and all these other expensive things. Isn't it, possible, isn't it possible, though, that I would have to call 20 or 30 people who would say no thanks before I got to one who'd say, oh, okay. Let, let me show you this. What happens in, the, in, in the premium land, this happens. This weird thing happens. They call you. They call you. They're like, um, my friend went to one of your sessions or saw you on... Um, Bettina show and she was very curious and we we're wondering if we could talk to you and like well I am busy <laughs> your credit your calendar suddenly becomes full ah. because of your hourly rate 597 an hour and, uh, <laughs> I hope you're comfortable oh right. yeah I, um, I'm not going right. there I'm going 400 that's that's about as much as I can deal with right now that's I'm sorry uh, no, I, 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 you, it's better to do it for 400 where I can feel not totally off the wall. I mean, I, I'm I, ready to jump at uh, anything over 400, but uh, I can uh, stay. Let's try, this. Let's, let's try this. 401. <laughs> I can deal with 401, but don't keep going okay. up there. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, let's see. Now, the thing is, this is what I'm trying to say to you. Check this out, 402. Yeah. What I'm showing you is that your mind can deal with any number. And the only thing is there is an agreement in the world that you bought into as an angel, which is illegal. You agreed with the world about some cap, shattered some glass ceiling. Bettina, she's got the glass ceiling syndrome called 400. Lady, I don't want you to have any glass ceiling. I want you to have a number that makes, blows up the world. I want a zero on top of that 400. So I don't want you to have any glass ceiling. There is no limits to your brain. That's why your exploration is to explore you past limits. That's what exploration does. It takes you outside of boundaries. So model your work. Take yourself, explore outside of your country. This is why we and, have Master Nigel Henry here today. I'm sorry. <laughs> am, I being too, am I being too gentle? <laughs> no, I, I listen. We don't so, uh, Angel exploration. Your job is to take people outside of their boundaries. That's what exploration is for. 
space exploration takes us outside past the moon into Mars and all sorts of weird places that here. no man has ever been before. That's your job. Otherwise the world is boring. So the first thing you got to do is break your own glass ceiling. And if that's 400, just say 4,000, just to make yourself upset. <laughs> just say it. It doesn't, you're just brush, mashing up your mind. Just break up all beliefs. We, you don't have to believe anything. In fact, the worst thing for an explorer is belief. Really? You must, yes, you should not have any. Because if you believe the world is flat, you will not go exploring. So you don't have it. You're discovering it through exploration. I love your work. Your work is what expands things. Exploration expands possibilities. So as an angel of exploration, you cannot have any word that has a limit on it. And if you do, you break it immediately, especially if you're hanging out with Bettina, and she's every week talking about glass ceilings, you're not allowed to have one. Bettina, what, what's happening here? Glass okay, ceilings. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we don't have them anymore. I think we shattered them. Uh, Troy, yes, you were gonna say something, I believe. Yeah, I, well, I'm gonna give a quick testimonial and wrap up before I depart, because I need to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. So much to uh, discuss, but I have done the Financial Miracle Challenge and um, <clears throat> a few things. One is that pressure that uh, Nigel was talking about. And because when I say, okay, I throw out a number and it, since it's a miracle, then it's a high number. And I say, okay, I'm going to achieve this in five days. Then uh, now there's a target on me. I will or I won't. <clears throat> and, uh, and so what I've learned in that process, though, is there's always um, a result and an error. So regardless of what the situation is, I'm going to get a result. When the result is different than what I intended, there's an error. And then I evaluate the error and, uh, and extract the gift. And, and figure out the gift. The gift is in right, the air. It will come. Thank you. And today we were working on that. Bettina would be like the best. If anyone has any questions, thank you, Troy. And with Troy, Troy is, I think Troy started where Angel Mora is right now. And the first time I was like, dude, I need to break this guy. Just break him down. It's like, in the box. And so he's been expanding and he tried to escape. He escaped, actually. And that's what, Troy, that's why I'm on your case still, because I think you are on the verge of a breakthrough and discomfort took you out. So I'm going to apply pressure still on Troy because he, he hasn't escaped velocity yet. I want him going to the moon. The moon is a destination. Uh, am I on the view or whatever? Right? Um, so back to, just to close out, um, Angel Mora, I am so proud of your mission and purpose, your identity, the angel of exploration. By definition, you're not allowed to have any boundaries. Oh. By, by <laughs> definition, because exploration is how new worlds are discovered. That's how they discovered the Americas, because someone went exploring. And you know, exploration of the mind is about asking questions. Yes. You don't, you're not allowed to be limited by religion, belief, or numbers. And so I am pressuring you so that you can feel so uncomfortable that notice what I did. I moved you from 400 to 4,000. There's nothing you can do about that. No <laughs> oh, yes, I can. <laughs> well, well, now, now, look, this is what I want to say now. This is what normal people do. They fight for limitations. They're like, Nigel, it's you against me. You want me to be infinite, and I want to be small, and I'm going to fight you to death. And I'm saying, Maura, what are you doing? Don't fight for limitations ever again. Fight for expansion. Fight yourself to get comfortable with 40,000 a month, a week. Sorry, an hour. <laughs> Bettina, <laughs> yeah, fight with that. You'll be a greater woman and wealthier and more influential and premium people respect you because, wow, she has the 
put spa to charge a lot of money for something unique. Wow, who does she think? Wow, she's very inspirational. She <laughs> reminds me of. So, Bettina, can you, uh, can I hand over to you? And if you can add your, your view and close it out. So, thank you, Maura, for courageously interacting with me. Thank you. And, and stay at the 4,000 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no promises <laughs> thank you so much there Nigel I am so loving this exploration with you it feels like uh, that's a new word for us and I cannot wait to welcome you back again next week to discover explore explain more um, today I personally intended that everyone who attended this meeting and those watching post tense have a direct experience of activating the power within. I am all about shattering glass ceilings because sh glass ceilings are meant to be broken, you know, and uh, shattered rather, not just merely broken. And today we got to experience what's possible for Moria and Anne, Troy, myself, and those listening here in this group who were, may not have participated, but I'm hoping that they got a download from Master Nigel Henry. Uh, any last parting thoughts, uh, Master Nigel Henry, and also unmute? The first thing is, if you're listening to this broadcast live or pre-recorded, go to greatnessactivation.com forward slash empower. And there you will have access to me through, and through the Empower, We Empower You movement, all right? So that's the place. Just go there and everything that I'm saying, you can access it through that portal. Um, I, and in summary, there are some special people on planet Earth. I will call them the Rolls Royce of humans. And they're here like Angel of Exploration Mora to bring something brand new to the world and it's premium. And premium is measured in US dollars, okay? And so the first thing that all my tribe has to do is raise their valuation of their own time and their work. Just up your price for no reason and then get used to that. I think that's it. And um, yeah, and then the law of reciprocation comes in because I value myself highly. I attract high value clients. It's just a, the law of resonance. Okay, that's it. You're muted, Bettina. Any, any final thoughts from Angel for, of Freedom, uh, who is in the uh, virus awareness program with Nigel, myself, and others? Unmute. There you go. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's just kind of funny you mentioned virus awareness because I'm very aware of virus right now. I don't know if you can hear it in my in my voice here. Uh, my final thoughts, boy, um, I'm not feeling my usual self. Beep. Um, Up until it's now. Time, it's <laughs> time to play outside your comfort zone. When you're down, do yeah. something extraordinary. Uh, my final thoughts. Let me ask you a question. Um, Here's a question for Troy. Who are you, who would you like to attract to your business? That would be a nice final thought. Oh, okay. Um, a business owner uh, in, uh, he's 40 and uh, <clears throat> has stores say $100,000 or more in checking and savings in order to have it liquid for his business. And uh, is an outside the box thinker. <clears throat> and what can you do for him? I can show him a more effective way to uh, store his cash and uh, get a double digit return tax free on that money uh, and still have it be liquid and also protected from loss. And so instead of it sitting in the so bank, it's sitting in a different account. So these are like people like small business owners, like builders and roofers and plumbers that are making steady cash flow but they don't have the background about finance, 
to know what to do with that money that they're making, right? They're very yes. industrious and yeah. prosperous, but yeah, they're yeah. like, okay, what do I do with all this money? I need to talk to somebody that I trust. Especially yeah. if they have capital expenses, like they have, they need a lift, you know, they're an auto shop and they need a lift. They, uh, I don't know, they're a, a tree service and they need a $30,000 wood chipper, you know, businesses that have those type of expenses. Yes. So you can help those people, right? Because you great. think out of the box more than they do. Uh, so that would be a great final word. So for those of you who fit that profile, you know, want to check out the Angel of Freedom. He'll make you go to bed and sleep well at night, right? Back to uh, uh, Petita. Thank you. I cannot wait to have you back here next week. Go to weempoweryourlife.com, click on the calendar tab, and you'll find the link to our Zoom meeting here. Thank you everyone for coming tonight. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye for now.